Medical research clearly proved that hyperventilation is a very common condition. This picture shows that in 20s and 30s we were breathing only about 4 or 5 liters of air per minute, even less than the medical norm, which is 6 liters per minute at rest for a 70 kilogram person. These days people breathe about 12 liters per minute in average, and that relates to normal subjects. And when people breathe twice more than the norm, it means they hyperventilate. That causes many health problems. First of all, as soon as we start heavy breathing, we cannot improve oxygenation of the blood. It remains about the same, 98-99%, as during very small normal breathing. We reduce carbon dioxide in airways and in the arterial blood. And since CO2 is the most powerful dilator of blood vessels, our arteries and arterioles get into state of spasm. They constrict. In addition to that, CO2 is crucial for release of oxygen. Oxygen cannot be released efficiently by red blood cells and capillaries due to the suppressed bore effect. Therefore, one of the key effects of hyperventilation is tissue hypoxia or low oxygen level in the heart, brain, kidneys, liver and other vital organs of the human body. That causes suppression of the immune system, generation of free radicals, chronic inflammation and many other health problems. Nearly all chronic diseases are either based or accompanied by hyperventilation. And therefore, hyperventilation is a very large health problem which is present but hidden in modern population because majority of people believe that we need to breathe more air to get more oxygen in body cells. Medical research, and I'm talking about hundreds of medical studies, clearly show that people need to breathe slower and less in accordance with medical norms or even less than the medical norm at rest in order to improve or increase oxygen content in body cells.